Okay, so now let's make our button play our video and become a stop thing and be able to interact with all that. And that's all the logic in this patch we're going to make. So the first thing we know is that we want to um, uh, take this this right here. And I probably should have renamed that something nice like button or something, but it's okay. I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm actually just going to grab it and drag it into the patch editor, and you'll see it, it makes its little patch there to represent that object. Um, so now what we want, we want when someone clicks on this object, let me go hit reset and everything so I'm in a reset state, um, we want someone to click on that object, so I'll make a patch called, there's right, a tap, we don't want a screen tap, we want an object tap, so this obviously wants to take an object, so we take and add this object to the object node right there, and we have that. Um, so now what do we need to do? We need to make it play. Um, and so we're going to have to add something called a switch um, to make this play. Um, well, why don't, we, why don't we just go ahead and um, add some more things. Let's, let's take our annotation one and whoops, we don't do it that way. We should select our annotation one over here. Don't try to drag it in there. Um, we need to put a play in there, right? So that's going to let us play. We're also going to need to reset it, so I'm going to reset it. So what I did is I clicked on this here, and I clicked on this arrow here, and this arrow here, so that I had these two um, actions in there. Um, now the simple thing is that we want, when, when this object gets tapped, we want it to reset. So I'm going to go ahead and just connect those now so I don't forget. Um, uh, what I need to do now is, I can't remember when, this This will sometimes add ones you need to have, that's why I put this play in first, thinking maybe it would add that, but maybe not. So I'm going to control click on here, and I'm going to look for something called a switch. And see this switch um, has these various states. We're going to make it when you tap, you're kind of flipping it on and off. So I added this switch, and I'm going to go from the object and go to flip. So you see this, this goes to two places and that's absolutely fine. Now, of course, um, when this thing flips and it's flipping on, it's going to, we're going to want it to play. So we'll just go ahead and drag those two together. Um, now, right now that should work here. I think we're done with, with just the sound. So if I click this, hey, this is a big old dinosaur. See, uh, I have it when I hit play, it starts, I hit it again, it stops, and it will reset, go to the beginning. So if I hit it again, hey, this is a big see. Um, so what we want to do now is make it so we change that um, that animation sequence. If you remember, we built this in a funny way where we had this animation sequence. There was only um, two frames, and we had it one frame per second. So there's only two frames in this whole thing, and we have it stuck on our zero frame. All right, I had to stop and look at my notes. Um, so what we need to do now is flip these buttons, right? So we're going to add a, a patch, and we're going to add the pulse patch. Pulse right here. And so how pulse works is, is basically, so this thing is sending this flip, so it's just sending a signal, right? And every time the signal hits, it's, it, it pulses, right? So it's going to be either in an on state or an off state. And so you see we have a when it's on an on state and we have an off state. So they kind of just flip between the two. Next, what I want to do is we only remember how we built these buttons. There's only two frames. So this works really easily for us. We're going to create a counter variable. So this is right here. We create this counter. And we say every time this thing turns on, go ahead and increase by one. And every time this thing turns off, decrease by one. Now, if we just went ahead and put this together, so notice we're on, whoops, on zero and I just connect this to this, um, there'll be a problem. So let me hit re restart here. And so when I hit restart, you'll notice we're on negative one and there's no negative one that we have here. Um, so what we need to do is actually um, add one to every value. So we're gonna go to add and I'm gonna say add one, whoops, not A, one, right down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna bring this up to here Right, this will come to here. So this negative, this one number coming to its negative one, it's going to add one. Go to here. Whoops. Go to here. There we go. Connected. And I'm going to hit restart. And so watch this. This is zero. I hit play. This goes hey, up to current frame one. Minus. I hit stop. It goes back to zero and so forth. Right. Hey, it only toggles between those two numbers. So that's it. We've built this whole thing. If you found this. 
Uh, I'm going to take pictures of all of these patches and put them in the downloads for you to look at them and label them. Um, and uh, go ahead and get some kind of way to record video on your on your phone and try to record um, uh, showing me you doing this in AR player. I think that's possible. If that's not possible, then you'll just have to, I don't know, hand in the file. We'll see. All right.